another life that I would like to, to share with you. It was a life where I was a princess. Hey guys, my name is Joyce and welcome to my channel, The Project Joy. How are you today? Well, today I came here to bring you some experiences that I had because I had a lot of weird experiences throughout my life and I think you would like to know and I would like to share. And recently I made a open box questions on Instagram and one of the questions was about my uh, past life regressions. And I said that um, I, I had those experiences, right? but I've never shared because they are very personal and and that's true but there are a few lives that I can share with you and I think you would like to know and that's why I'm bringing this subject today and for those of you that are coming here for the first time welcome please don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell and also I really advise you to go to the other videos and watch the other playlists so that you can understand what I'm talking about here on this channel, okay? So yeah, throughout my life, in during my childhood, I've always had this um, weird experiences but then between my age of 8 until my age of 14 more or less, I kind of stopped being that into spirituality because after the age of eight we begin to start being more attached to the physical world and from birth until the seventh year we still have this sensibility to the other side but after the age of eight we begin this process of being more focused on the, the materialization itself and, and we tend to forget or put on the side uh, all these um, spiritual experiences. So between this time, from 8 until 14, it, it was a time where I was very curious about everything. I would like I loved like horror movies and this kind of stories and witch stories, all this stuff. I always loved it. Uh, but then after my age of 15, I started to get to know a little bit more about spirituality again. And I got really, really interested in this. Uh, and then I got to know about past life regressions and I got really really amazed I really wanted to know everything that I was everything that I did on the other lives and I was like really really craving to know everything but I need to tell you this guys uh, before I tell you my stories uh, I need to tell you something which is uh, something that you realize when you get into spirituality in a deeper level you understand that you have no necessity to go to your past lives at all. There's only a few times, sometimes, that you have something on this life that you cannot explain by the things that you have and that you lived on this life. So, and you feel that it came from, from the past, from other lives. Only on that case, it's good to go and do some, some regressions to understand what actually happened but otherwise you don't really need it and i'm telling you this because sometimes when we go to the other life sometimes we get um really attached to emotions to situations to things that happened to us in the past and instead of bringing us some enlightenment it brings us more trauma and we we tend to feel like either the good things and the bad things you feel it very deeply because you feel like you were living there again so it's just like it, it is you and some people even get stuck on that feeling on that life and get obsessed with it and there is no reason to do that because the only thing that really matters is our life here on earth now that's the only thing that we can live we are programmed to live this life and this moment we are going to have other lives we have other lives but the one that we need to focus on is this one because it's, this is the one that we can actually do something about it okay um, the first story I would like to share with you is a story uh, about my phobia because uh, since I was a kid I've always had a very a huge 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 spiders phobia I was so scared, so scared, I would like, I would have panic attacks, I would like 
be shaking i would i couldn't stop screaming it was like really really crazy i couldn't see a spider next to me it would i would feel like crazy and it doesn't matter what's the size of the spider if it's a big one or a small one i would get really really mad it it was insane so one of the things that i saw in my past life that i tried to search for is why i have this um this fear of spiders and then during my regression um i realized that of course i died with a spider bite in one of my lives and uh, on that life i was part of a native american tribe and i got a bite from a spider and it was not even a big spider it was like like this it was not very big but it was really really bad and usually the the venom of the spiders they usually act very fast depending on the spider depending on the venom i don't know a lot about it but i know that it's quite fast it's like one day or two days maximum you're dead but if you don't do anything about it of course and like i said i was from a part from a part of a tribe and uh, the only things that they knew was the medicine that they had around so they did the best that they could to help me and they tried to help me with all kinds of medicine that we had uh, available on that time and the thing is that i couldn't get rid of the venom from my body what they did was trying to make me uh, alive as much as they could and that was the worst thing because i spent three weeks three weeks like dying slowly like very very slowly and i was having a lot of hallucinations and i was having a lot of really 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 bad vibes it was terrible 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 instead of dying in a faster way i started to die very very slowly it, and it was getting worse every day and it was quite bad <laughs> it was really really bad and yeah my master he he was helping me he he helped me to overcome this overcome this fear and clean my head about this and nowadays, uh, I st I'm still not a good friend of spiders, but I don't freak out when I'm around them. I don't get panic attacks when I'm around them. I just put it off, not next to me, but it, I'm not that scared anymore, which is really, really good. Another life that I would like to, to share with you, it was a life uh, where I was a princess. It was a very interesting life for me because um, it was very peculiar, very particular. I, I will explain why. I knew that I was a princess, I was part of uh, a royalty, but I had some mental issues. I had um, some, a mental disease. So I spent my whole life locked in a room. During this whole life I could only talk to two or three people and I could never leave the, the room. But I knew that I was from from the royalty i knew that i was a princess and uh, i knew that my brain was not working so I, I cannot give you a lot of details because uh, that's the interesting part when you go to uh, your past lives depending on how you're doing it of course but on that life in, in particular i was looking from inside from the inside of the body and i couldn't uh, think straight i couldn't i couldn't I couldn't form a whole phrase in my head, I couldn't um, remember the name of the people, I couldn't understand exactly, I couldn't say my name, I couldn't talk properly, I couldn't um, move properly. I'm not sure exactly what kind of uh, disease I had, but I had all this trouble. I, I knew that I couldn't move that much, I couldn't talk that much, and I and my thoughts were really, really weird it was kind of sad of course i spent my whole life um, locked in a, in a room and i also spent my whole life trying to know uh, what what we had outside or what it was like outside but i was also very very scared because everyone would told me would tell me that i could not i could never leave the room because otherwise i would i would die so they used to scare me a lot so that i couldn't leave the the room as well but yeah um, 
I died very early on that life. I didn't reach my 20s and um, it was kind of sad. <laughs> I had a lot of experiences, a lot of experiences, guys. I saw a lot of lives. But the last life I want to share with you today um, is one of the lives where I was witch. Yeah, I had a lot of light times being a witch, a lot. Because our uh, essence, despite of our body being different, our essence is always the same. So when we are going to another life, you see that sometimes you take bad decisions, good decisions, sometimes it's more, you're more superficial, but the main core is still the same. And my main core was always a very sensitive person. I've always had a, a very a deep connection with spirituality in all of my lives, all, all, all of my lives. And that's why there was a lot of lives there was a, I was a bitch. And the other two lives, the life where I was a Native American and the life where I was a, a princess, I, I cannot tell you exactly when, when it happened, because when I was in the tribe, we didn't uh, measure the time the way that we measure here, so I had no idea, I had no clue to, to know in which uh, date I was. And, and also when I was a princess, because of my disease, I, I didn't even, I couldn't even say my name properly. So of course I didn't know anything about what time, the period of time I was living. But on this life where I was a witch, uh, I know that it was on the 11th century. And since I was a child on that life, I have always been very sensitive and very weird. I had be, been bullied for a long time uh, with all the people that were living in my village and I became very very bad very weak and um, as the time was going by the more uh, anger I was having and the more the more I had this feeling of revenge that I wanted to get to have the revenge of the people that were, that were harming me but yeah uh, when I was um, a teenager I wanted to to have a child but of course i was uh, not the kind of girl that the men wanted of course everyone was scared of me and no one was wanted to to be to have me around so i had to make a potion to make that man um sleep with me and yeah but it was a very heavy life guys i'm telling you this i'm telling that already so if you're very sensitive you should skip this part so i gave him the the potion and he and i slept with him and after that i i killed him and then i got pregnant i gave birth to a to a little girl and this little girl she's she's in this life with me she's one of my best friends and when i became a mother on that life everything inside of me changed I started to see that the examples that I was giving to my child was not the kind of examples that I really wanted to give. And she was becoming really bad. Since she was a baby, she had already the, those kind of reactions showing that she was a very bad person. And when she was five, she just uh, picked one bunny by, by the head and separated the head of the bunny and the body. And she was just five and she was doing that for pure pleasure and when i started to notice this kind of behavior i noticed that i was the one that was provoking that because of everything that i did that's why she was doing all of this and she was becoming even worse than me i started to regret everything that i did and i started to try to make things right again with everyone and with her and I, I really loved my child. I really had a very deep love for my child. I remember that we had the, this house um, away from the town. It was all made of stones. It was really cold and really small. She had a very long uh, black hair and I really liked to, to brush her hair. It was really nice. I really loved her. But she was really mean. She was really, really mean. And 
when she was growing up, while she was growing up, she was uh, already doing a lot of bad stuff for, to people. And it got to a point where everyone on the village uh, got to know that we were witches. And then when she was a teenager, uh, the whole village got against her because of the things that she did. I think, I think she tried to kill someone, something like that, or she killed someone. I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't remember exactly what she did. But the whole village uh, got together against her and they killed her in the middle of the street with, with stones. And, and that was really, really shocking for me. It was really, really bad. I got really depressed and I really regretted everything that I did in my life. And after her death, I stayed in my home for the rest of my life. I n never saw anyone again. I avoided to be with anyone. I, I just had to, to go to pick some food, but I was uh, always alone trying to redeem myself and asking for forgiveness and I ended up dying alone in the cold and that on my house asking for forgiveness trying to understand why I, I had all these bad decisions during my life it was a very very heavy life very very hard but yeah um, the, the video is getting quite long already guys uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please share here in the comments so that I can make another video uh, sharing more experiences that I had in another regressions video. And also, if you have any doubts, don't forget to leave on the comments as well. And please don't forget to subscribe, activate the bell, leave a thumbs up down here, share this video as much as you can. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, okay? Yeah, that's it for today, guys. Um beijo no coração.